Right, so the main point of this lesson is to be able to use the comparable operator. So I'm at the top of the person class and right now it says it in, in implements the person interface. And so what we should have seen from this is that we have to have these override statements somewhere in our code to finish the contract. So the person interface has demanded that we have three methods and we have three methods here at the bottom. I'm going to implement another interface. This one is called Comparable. And Comparable is something that's built into Java. So I don't have to create another Comparable interface. It's already buried here in these Java runtime libraries. So somewhere in here we would find a class called Comparable. Now the red line shows up under Person. It says, aha, you said he implements Im uh, Comparable, but you have not used the unimplemented methods. So let's try this. Let's click the button and let's see what it did to me. So scroll down and there is another function right there. It's called compare to. So if I want to compare one object to another, I can return either a, a one, a zero or a negative one. You can see that it's returning an integer. So I'm going to rename this thing O as other. So you get the idea of what O is. So here is what I'm trying to compare. I'm going to say, is this item equal to the other item? I'll return a zero, they're equal. If this is considered to be greater than the other item, return one, and if it's less than the other item, return a negative one. Now there's already a compare to operator for strings. Let's use that. So I'm going to create a new integer and I'm gonna call it uh, compare result. And it's going to be equal to this dot, uh, let's say the first, uh, let's go with, start with a last name. So last name dot compare to so compare to strings and the other string that I want to compare to is the other person dot last name so now we've got ourselves a comparison on their last names so we could um, now ask the question if the comparison of their both their first name and last name matches then we'll consider this to be true so we can compare now the first name so we'll do another if statement if the first names of both objects match each other, then the result of the compared to will be zero and will return a zero. As a matter of fact, we can probably just return the value of this first name comparison because it could be a zero, a negative one, or a one. So we can just say compare the first names and return the result. So reinterpreting this if statement, if the compare results are equal to zero, that means that the last names match. And let's compare the first names. So then if the uh, results are different, so that means the last names do not match, then just simply return the compare result that we did at the very beginning. So we should have matched all of the cases here and we will return a one or a zero or a negative one when we compare two different person objects. Okay, now it's time to test this out to see if compare to actually works with our two programs. So let's go into our programs and I've got nobody special as my first guy. I'm gonna create somebody else and I'm gonna say somebody special. Okay, so I create a new person called somebody special and this person's name is K anybody. So which one is considered first in the alphabet? They both have the same last name, so they both share anybody. So J and K, well, J comes before K, so we should see that um, nobody special comes before somebody special. Okay, so I'm going to print out a comparison of the two. So nobody special compared to somebody special. And this should give me a number, one, zero, or negative one. And so when I compare the two, I get a negative one. So that means that nobody special comes first. And so that's true. So now that we know we have a compare to operator that's working, we can create an array of persons and sort them. Okay, so I'm going to create a list of people. So first of all, we'll declare this as an array and we'll create a, an array of person. And I will specify that it only has four members in it. Next, I will specifically create a new person for item zero, one, two and three and create a new person and give them a first and last name. Now once I'm done I should be able to do an arrays dot sort 
And inside here, I'm going to sort the people list. Now I have to import, it looks like. Now let's create a for loop and print out everybody in order. So uh, we should see that the first guy on the list will be Brady, and the last guy should be Roethlisberger. Let's see what that does. All right, I'm about ready to print this, and let's see what the results are. I think there'll be some errors. There's some things that are unresolved, but let's go anyway. So I have the uh, comparison for these two guys working. However, for the list, I have an issue. So I have an unresolved compilation problem. It says the type person must implement the inherited abstract method comparable, compare to object. So compare to object isn't quite what I wanted. I was doing compare to, and I have the word person in here. So at the top, I want to do another item change. I'm going to put in a brackets and put in the word person. So that way it knows that the uh, comparable is applying to the person only. Let's try and run it again. This time it does run. However, it does tell me all the addresses of the person instead of their names. So what's the problem here? It's the, uh, the two string method. Two string method isn't working, so I have to go into person and implement a two string method. Okay, so now I have a two string method. Let's see what that does. And now I can see the names are indeed alphabetized and they're alphabetized by last name. Pretty sure that's by last name. Let's just see if Joe Brady and Tom Brady can be sorted together. And so Joe Brady comes first, Tom Brady comes second. So the last name resolves and then the first name resolves after that. Okay, let's go back and check to see if our assignment was completed correctly. So this is the personal interface we're talking about. It says here you can copy some materials from assignment six. We create the person interface. Uh, what else did we do? We implement some of the methods in there. And then we have a walk run is running. It looks to me like we've got ourselves the code. We have a compare to override. And then we do a test to see if these people can actually be sorted. And then we're down to the end. So it says here we need some screenshots. So once again, I expect to see a Word document with some pictures and captions in it and then a description of what's going on and let's say let's do the copy of our zip file and our java doc so let's say our zip of code a folder and then the java doc that we would create using the java doc automatic create program 